sixth grade, module four, lesson 13, classwork. Example one, write an expression showing one divided by two without using, without the use of the division symbol. Okay, so we'll do that after we draw a model. So let's draw a model of one, and then we're gonna divide it into two. So let's say that the whole thing is equal to one, and now let's split that into two equal parts. So one divided by two is equal to, each of these would be one half, or one over two. So what can we determine from the model? That one divided by two is equal to one half, or we could say they're the same thing. Example two, write an expression showing a divided by two without the use of the division symbol. So let's draw a model, and this time we don't know what a is, it's just a variable, but we don't know how large it is. So we have a divided by two. So each section would be a over two, a divided by two, a and half. So what can we determine from the model that a divided by two is the same as a over two. When we write division expressions using the div division symbol, we represent the dividend right there, the top number, divided by the divisor. So this is the dividend, this is the divisor, so we just put the dividend on the top as the numerator and the divisor on the bottom as the denominator. So let's write dividend divided by the divisor. How would this look like when we write division expressions using a fraction? So when we write division expressions as a fraction, it just looks like dividend, over the divisor. Example three, write an expression showing a divided by b without the use of the division symbol. So a divided by b with no division symbol would just be a over b. Write an expression for g divided by the quantity h plus three. So g divided by the quantity h plus three, so g over h plus three. Write an expression for the quotient of the quantity m reduced by three and five. So quotient, remember, is the answer to a division problem. So m reduced by three, so minus three and five. Exercises, write each expression two ways. Use the division symbol and as using the division symbol and as a fraction. So we're going to write it two ways. We're going to write it with the division symbol, 12 divided by 4. So we'd have 12 divided by 4. And then we also want to write it um, as a fraction. So we could write it as 12 over 4. 3 divided by 5. So we'd have 3 divided by 5. Or we could also write it as 3 over 5. A divided by 4 or we could write a over four. The quotient of six and m. So the quotient is the answer to a division problem. So the quotient of six and m would be six divided by m or six over m. Seven divided by the quantity x plus y. So seven divided by the quantity x plus y seven divided by x plus y, but we want x plus y to be in parentheses because we want to keep those together. Or seven over x plus y. y divided by the quantity, so y divided by the quantity x minus 11, or y over x minus 11. The sum of the quantity h and three so eight, sum of the quantity h plus 3, because sum means plus, divided by 4, 
or we could write it as h plus 3 over 4. And the quotient of the quantity k minus 10 divided by m, but we want to keep k minus 10 together, so let's put parentheses around them, or we could write it as k minus 10 over m.